Hello, so this video is how to know when it's time to quit a goal. It only takes a few seconds on social media to find quotes that remind you quitting lasts forever or champions don't quit. There are lots of inspirational quotes and motivational images that send the message that somehow if you give up on your goal, you're giving up on life. Whether you set your sights on running a 10K or you aspire to turn your body, your part-time hobby into a full-time business, the path to achievement doesn't always come in a straight line. And while there's a lot um, to be said for perseverance, sometimes it just makes more sense to quit. Quitting doesn't mean you're a loser. In fact, it often takes incredible mental strength to walk away from a goal you've set for yourself. Here are five signs you should give yourself permission to quit working on your goal. So one, your goals have changed. Many people feel like once they've established a goal, they have to keep going, especially if they've told other people about it. But quite often the goal that seemed like a good idea six months ago is more is no longer important. Setting a goal for yourself doesn't mean you have to commit yourself to accomplishing it. Two, the process doesn't align with your values. While it may sound like an honorable uh, goal in the beginning, the process of getting there might not align with your values. The hard work, dedication, and commitment could mean less time with your family, less energy um, for your other endeavors, and fewer opportunities to pursue the things that matter most. Three, the reward isn't worth it. Sometimes it's easy to underestimate the effort it takes to reach a goal. Losing 10 pounds, earning 100 more a month, or going to the gym six days a week might not sound too difficult on the surface, but when you start taking steps to reach those goals, you might find the process is far more cumbersome than you envisioned. Four. You've dug yourself into a hole. Whether you're you've invested a lot of money into a business that wasn't that just simply isn't working, or you've devoted endless hours to a project that no longer seems viable. Knowing you've dug yourself into a hole can be really frustrating. Five, the risk outweigh the benefits. Sometimes the excitement over the benefit of reaching your goal can cloud your judgment and cause you to overlook the risk you'll face getting there. If your goal has a negative impact on your health, your relationships, or your wallet, rethink your options. So, now that we know the five reasons to quit a goal, how do we make the right decision? Quitting a goal isn't shouldn't be a decision you take lightly, nor one that you make out of haste. Just because you feel tired, frustrated, or disappointed doesn't mean you should give up. Make the decision based on careful balance between your emotion and your logic. Take time to really think about the pros and the cons of continuing versus the pros and cons of quitting. Choosing to walk away doesn't mean you're a failure. Giving up on today's goal could actually be a stepping stone for your future success. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.